Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is Ingrid, and I want to welcome you to the HealthyBloodPressure.com channel. High blood pressure has many causes. Genetics, diet, obesity, smoking, and stress are a few of them. These factors can also cause your bad cholesterol to rise. But does this bad cholesterol also raise your blood pressure? If you're dealing with high cholesterol, chances are you may develop high blood pressure in the future. We'll talk more about the link between high blood pressure and cholesterol. And then we'll look at some studies that have established this link. Finally, we'll outline the measures you can take to keep your cholesterol number under control. So, how do cholesterol and high blood pressure work together? Your body makes cholesterol in the liver. It's an important compound that facilitates many functions of the body, like building cells and making vitamins and some hormones. Cholesterol, which is an important waxy substance, comes from two sources. Your liver usually makes enough cholesterol for your body. The extra cholesterol comes from food we consume. These foods come from animals like dairy products, poultry, and meat. Cholesterol can be both good, known as HDL, and bad, known as LDL. When bad cholesterol, or LDL, increases, it may deposit in the walls of your arteries. This buildup of cholesterol narrows the arteries, and the narrowing of the arteries causes your heart to pump extra hard to send blood through them. This process raises your blood pressure. This blood constantly flowing at high pressure can cause small tears in the walls of your arteries, allowing more bad cholesterol deposits in those torn corners of the vessel walls. And this is how the cycle continues. Increased cholesterol and increased high blood pressure work together to make your heart more vulnerable to attacks. These two conditions also raise the risk of other severe illnesses. Let's look at the studies that give us greater insight into high blood pressure and cholesterol. In 2005, the JAMA published a study linking cholesterol and blood pressure in women. The scientists measured fats in the blood along with blood pressure for 130 women over a 10-year period. In the end, the study concluded that those who had high cholesterol during the study developed high blood pressure in the later years. Another study focusing on high blood pressure and cholesterol was also conducted. The American Heart Journal also published this study in 2005. This time the participants were men. Over 3,000 men participated in the study for more than 18 years. They found that men with higher levels of total cholesterol eventually developed high blood pressure. They also found that men with higher levels of good cholesterol had a decreased risk of developing high blood pressure. In 2011, a study looked at the link between dietary cholesterol and high blood pressure. Researchers worldwide, along with the InterMAP group, ran the study. Over 4,600 people globally, representing 17 population samples, participated in this study. The participants were between the ages of 40 and 59 years old. During this study, the researchers recorded 83 nutrient data from the participants' four multi-pass, 24-hour dietary recalls and urine analysis. Their blood pressure was also measured eight times. At the end of the study, the researchers found that dietary cholesterol had a direct link to the systolic or upper reading of blood pressure for all the participants. They also concluded that reducing the cholesterol we consume may help to prevent and control the high blood pressure levels in the general public. In 2002, a group of scientists in Italy published a study on whether cholesterol alone can affect blood pressure. The study included 73 participants who were recently diagnosed and were untreated for high blood pressure. The scientists measured the participants' cholesterol levels and blood pressure. The results showed that blood pressure variations were similar for similar body weight and blood sugar levels, but it varied with cholesterol levels. They found that blood pressure is influenced by even mildly increased serum cholesterol levels. In 2013, the Circulation Journal of the American Heart Association published a study. This study was on how cholesterol and high blood pressure or hypertension treatment can progress together. The researchers went through national health and nutrition examination surveys from 1988 to 2010. 
They found that treating high blood pressure alone reduces the risk of coronary heart disease only by 20 to 25 percent, but treating high cholesterol along with high blood pressure further reduces the risk by 35 to 40 percent. Consequently, healthcare practitioners should treat both conditions simultaneously for the best results. So we've talked a lot about cholesterol, but we need to know what our target cholesterol levels should be. For both men and women over 20, the numbers are quite similar, except when it comes to the HDL, or good cholesterol numbers. If you're over 20 years old, male and female, your good range of total cholesterol should be between 125 to 200 milligrams per deciliter. Non-HDL cholesterol should be less than 130 milligrams per deciliter. LDL cholesterol should be less than 100 milligrams per deciliter. HDL cholesterol for men should be 40 milligrams per deciliter or higher, whereas the HDL cholesterol for women should be 50 milligrams per deciliter or higher. Now that we can see the importance of maintaining proper levels of our cholesterol, let's see what we can do to achieve the cholesterol levels that will maintain a healthy life. So, how to lower your cholesterol. Lowering your cholesterol isn't all that different from treating high blood pressure. Let's see what these methods are. Healthy diet. Cholesterol won't change on its own. You will have to change the way you eat. Eat more fruits, vegetables, whole grains, fish, and poultry. Avoid saturated fats as much as possible. Saturated fats directly affect your blood cholesterol. And limit your trans fats as well. Limit red meats, whole milk dairy products, and sugary products. And limit the number of alcoholic drinks. Avoid tobacco. If you smoke, quit now. Smoking is bad for your body in many ways. It is particularly harmful when it comes to cholesterol because it decreases your good cholesterol. Active lifestyle. Moderate but regular exercise can keep your bad cholesterol in check. Brisk walking is a good option. Keep moving often if you have a sedentary job. The ideal goal is to get about 150 minutes of physical activity every week or exercise for about 30 minutes a day for at least 5 days. Healthy weight. Maintain a healthy weight. Obesity has a direct link with both bad cholesterol and high blood pressure. Don't get discouraged as you try to lose weight. The good news is that you can see results along the way to your ideal weight. Your cholesterol levels can change by just losing 10% of your body weight. Lose weight by exercising and eating healthy. Talk to your doctor if lifestyle changes aren't working for you when trying to maintain a healthy weight. There may be some underlying condition that they can look into. Reducing. Reducing negative emotions and learning positive ways to deal with stress, anger, and other negative emotions will improve your health. Taking care of your blood sugar and blood pressure usually means we need to reduce them. Be sure to follow your health care provider's instructions for keeping your blood sugar levels and blood pressure in healthy ranges. Medication. Lifestyle changes are a good place to start to lower your cholesterol levels, but sometimes they aren't enough. That's when you might need medication. You'd likely need a combination of cholesterol-lowering and blood pressure-lowering medication. Follow up with your doctor regularly and go through the treatment plan. This approach can successfully control both high blood pressure and high cholesterol. In summary, cholesterol is an important compound that our body needs and that our body makes. Through our lifestyle choices and habits, we can increase our cholesterol, which increases our blood pressure. Increased bad cholesterol negatively impacts our heart health and can lead to serious and possibly deadly consequences. The good news is that our lifestyle choices and habits can change and become a positive force for a healthy life. When it comes to your health, always consult your doctor. They can create a plan with you, monitor your numbers, and guide you so that your cholesterol and blood pressure numbers can maintain healthy ranges. Hi there. If you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you want to receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there 
so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.